Hey guys, this is your last chance to buy my plushie as the campaign ends in June, but don't worry if you missed out, because I'm sure there'll be more stuff coming down in the future, but if you're able to, go on to onash.com and buy the plush right now. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel, and please enjoy the video. Hi everyone, today we are doing a huge Poppy Playtime plush unboxing. Uh, today I got a whole bunch of plushies because I am making a brand new Poppy Playtime series that is dropping on May 25th. 12 noon EST, if you want to see that be there, it's going to be fantastic, I'm really excited to start it, and so yeah, I got all these plushies obviously for the series, so we're going to be opening all of them today, and uh, you're going to get to see it uh, there, so yeah, I got a whole bunch of cool Poppy Playtime content coming up, because I, I think y'all are really going to enjoy it, because it's super cool and high quality, and I'm really, really excited for it. Just to kind of give perspective of uh, how much stuff we're opening up today, um, you know, it's a... Uh, you know, it's not exactly like a little bit. Like it's kind of, it's kind of a lot. Uh, you know, we got we got quite a bit of this stuff, stuff to stuff to, stuff to open up today. Um, and this is a yeah, it's. <laughs> So we're starting off with this uh, box here, and I'm gonna be careful because my address is on the back of it. I don't want to dox myself. Uh, blur that editing, haha! -ha. You all are not gonna dox me today, anyways. Um, <clears throat> so here is plush number one. I don't know why they put just a tiny plush in this huge bag. This, sorry, I'm I'm so sorry, Poppy. This is the I believe Fat Mojo Poppy Playtime plushie. Uh, I'm not sure who specifically made this, but this is the uh, I say Poppy Playtime. This is the Poppy plush by, uh, Fat Mojo. And this plush is great. I really love the way that this looks. Oh my gosh. Yes, it is Fat Mojo. I knew it. So yeah, here's the tag. Um, this little Poppy Playtime little logo and stuff. Looks pretty great. Uh, here is the plush itself. And wow, this is, this is crazy high quality. Um, so, obviously you have her head, which has her little pigtails. Looks fantastic. Look at this little embroidered face. It's cute. We got some printing for her blush. Uh, but yeah, this is a. Oh my god, this blush is so high quality. Like, okay, normally I'm not used to Fat Mojo making super high quality blushes. Their quality varies, but this is awesome. Uh, you got, like, her very like, layered and detailed dress, all the little bows and the little strings. This blush is awesome looking. Wow. Um, you have the back, too, which uh, obviously this kind of all comes together in the back. Um, I can't tell if this is like. I don't know. I can't tell. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to mess around with it a bit. I have to look at some of the pictures. Ah, uh, yeah. But I think that is probably the one fault of this plush is that it is very delicate looking. There's a lot of little intricate parts and strings, and if you mess around with it too much, it might break. So uh, if you get this, I'll be very careful. I would. Uh, I would obviously, you know, play with it, have fun, but uh, be careful because it might break. Um, yeah, this is this is awesome. Look at her long legs. I'm not gonna upskirt her. I'm sorry, Poppy. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, this is it's good size too. It's good hefty. It's good good plushy. I mean, you can compare this to Funko Freddy Fazbear. You know the industry standard. We all measure with our Funko Freddy Fazbear. I mean, this is about Freddy Fazbear height. Like about like at standing, obviously it's too taller, but like standing, she's about Funko Freddy Fazbear height, and that is what you want in a plushie. So yeah, there is the Poppy plush. And next, we're gonna move to the big package because this has the most main characters in it. This I got directly from the Poppy Playtime website, and we're gonna open this up. Oh my god, you can see them in there. Oh, oh my god, it's exploding. It's Boxy Boo. He's giant. Help. He's stuck. Oh my god. Um, uh, uh. Somebody stop them. Oh my god. Okay, wow. Oh my god, there's so much in here. Okay, we're gonna start with the main guy himself take him out of his wrapping but if you couldn't tell this is the star of the show huggy why well, say poppy is technically the star of the show but this is the main guy that everyone loves to this is like the freddy fazbear of poppy playtime which is funny because he's not even the freaking main character uh but this is huggy wuggy himself and wow i i actually i don't know something about i really like the way that this plush looks i i would say the fluff at the front of his face kind of makes a nose i might have to trim this down a bit it's a little too thick for my liking but he, he, <laughs> I can't get the fact that this looks like a nose out of my, out of my head. Uh, yeah, that might have to be trimmed a bit by my skizzers, but, I mean, yeah, this plush looks pretty great. I love the fluffy, fluffy fabric. Uh, this is very fluffy. Um, you can see his big old bow tie. Uh, it looks pretty cool, like ribbon bow tie. It's very, it's very nice. His lips are very, like, a solid shape. His eyeballs look really cool. The plastic eyes, the hanger. He's very flimsy and flappy, and he just feel, he feels nice to hold. Uh, I believe if his hands do Velcro. 
Yes, they do. His hands do Velcro. Yes, his hands Velcro. So there's Velcro on his hands. And they can connect together, just like how they do in the video game. Well, I mean, I don't know if he ever actually does it in the game, but it's implied. Um, and you can see his feet also do the same thing. They go boop, and they Velcro together. And yeah, so yeah that is really cool. Uh, he looks super good. I really like this. He's very tall, too. He's huge. Like, he towers over Poppy. Uh, we're going to see some even more places today, and they're going to be even taller. But he is huge gigantic uh he's super tall but he's also super flimsy so he kind of just sits next to her like that uh the tag is a playtime instead of being poly playtime tag it is a playtime code tag because this comes directly from poly playtime i believe these are made by culture fly uh to my knowledge but it doesn't say anywhere on the tags maybe not i don't know um but yeah this is a really cool plushie uh we're gonna move on to the second chapter's antagonist mommy long legs and wow this oh my god this plush is huge i mean you, you would say i guess she is named mommy long legs after all she should probably be long that would make the most sense to me uh ugh, tear the freaking bag open okay wait just grab her out tried seeing if i could back the camera up slightly to fit her on screen and wow this plush is giant oh my god it's so big oh the velcro on her hands okay so oh, i gotta get my bearings from in here jesus look at all that oh my God, freaking spider abdomen. Anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Anyways, so this is Mommy Long Legs, and oh my goodness, this plush is awesome. So here is her head. She's got these really high quality, really cool plastic eyes. Uh, they're not super, super like hard either. So I think they won't. They actually don't seem like they're gonna scratch very easily, uh, which is nice. They're like sort of like a softer plastic. Um, you see her very nice embroidered mouth, uh, her little swirly hair at the end of her head, and look at these. It's like her little little spindly hairs, and they're all bendable. They all have little wires in them, so you can bend them into different shapes, and that's really cool. But they're still not super heavy, so they kind of, like, they flop around like hair would, and it looks really cool. I don't really know what the proper procedure for these things are. Like, I don't know what they're supposed to look like, but, like, yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, her arms are bendable as well. You can bend them into all sorts of positions. They're not, like I said, these wires aren't super heavy, so you can't really bend them, like, crazy, crazy. Like, they're not gonna, like, stay if you, like, just do that but you can get them into some pretty cool positions and the velcro on the hands is very nice because you can make her hands stick together uh and she's really neat looking look at the hand those, those are some detailed hands you got all five fingers there uh and you got her body which also has a wire on it so you can kind of bend her her abdomen a bit her like uh you know chest in her abdomen uh, she looks really cool uh, there's her, you know, her abdomen itself. There's her tush tag. Uh, her legs are also super long. You know, that's in her name. Uh, her shoes are very detailed. And like I said, her legs also have bendable arms. And oh my god, I'm just now getting the perspective of how freaking huge this plush is. Like, look how tall this is. It's huge. Um, Next to Huggy, I mean, she, he's about up to her abdomen. But uh, again, I'm trying to like, okay, do this with one hand. Wait, there we go. Yeah, there you go. Look, she's got he's kind of up to her abdomen, and she's a lot bigger than he is. I don't know if that's accurate to the game. I don't remember really how. I'm pretty sure how mommy is one of the biggest characters in the game. So hopefully that's not too inaccurate. I don't know, but yeah, we'll have to see. Uh, I'm gonna try and like position her so she she all fits on camera. All right, so I decided to move my camera setup a little bit back, so now we can see everything a bit better. Uh, and next up is Foxy Boo, and oh my God, he's also huge i i'm starting to think that maybe i got a huggy that's a little too small because uh, i thought that 19 was gonna be plenty in terms of height but i'm realizing how just freaking big everybody else is um so here is boxy boo and wow he is huge so here is boxy boo himself this guy is the main guy in project playtime uh you know that game the, the little multiplayer game I actually did a video a while back on Project Playtime, like, covering it and seeing if it was good or not, and I thought it was alright. I heard the game actually got worse since I played it, so uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully Mob Games decides to come back around and fix that, uh, especially the other things. But, you know, uh, his plastic, he's got his big plastic guys. I always really like Boxy Boo. Okay, like, I think Boxy Boo's stupid and goofy, but I also kind of love it. He's stupid and goofy in the funnest way possible. Um, he doesn't even look like a gesture, really. He's just like a elmo creature in a box is anyone remember one two three slaughter me street that's what this guy reminds me of uh here is like his he's in a huge box his huge jack-in-the-box box you got his little windy thing on the left i wish this spun that would be so cool if that spun uh but yeah here's his head it's very fluffy he's got two little plastic guys just like huggies uh and you can see his teeth blah, blah, blah. you can open his mouth ah, ah. you can make him eat people like you can grab uh, my pencil and go 
Yeah, so <laughs> just an example. Um, here is his hands, and his hands are like kind of like in this like a uh, like a, like a this pose, and he's got them uh, very fluffy, red and fluffy. There's his playtime go tag, uh, and his his arms stretch pretty far. Uh, this is actually kind of like a perfect length, I think. You can get him. You can get these arms to stretch a good bit. And they're very springy. You've got his spring, his slinky spring, because obviously he is a jack in the box. And this is actually a fantastic way, I think, to get the arms to stretch without making them too loose, because they still, like, hold together their shape. But you can still make him stretch quite a bit. Like, he goes out pretty far, uh, which is really cool. So, yeah, love that. Uh, and actually, seems oh, okay, that's cool. They actually seem to retract into one another, so this entire string is connected together. So when you pull along this, it pulls that one in, and vice versa, which actually is uh, honestly a really fun, like, stress toy stimulant thing uh I'm having too much fun with this anyway <laughs> here is his legs which uh do not seem to stretch quite as far as the arms but they still stretch quite a bit and you got his big blocky little feet uh but yeah he he's so funny and doofy hey, hey everybody it's me boxy boo Oop. <laughs> something about this guy is just so stupid to me but i love him uh he's my favorite thank you mob games for making the objectively best worst character design uh there's your tush tag I'm sorry if this review is all over the place, but I don't know, I'm just happy because I love him. He's so stupid. Uh, here he goes next to everybody. I'm going to compare him next to Huggy. Uh, it actually seems like they're about the same height, which I think is actually right. I'm pretty sure they're about the same height in the game. So this this feels about right. I think Mommy is just already a huge character in general, so that makes sense that she's bigger. Him and Huggy are about the same height, which feels right. There is Boxy Boo. We are going to move on to the next package. All right, next package, I believe, if I'm correct, I know who this is. And she's pink. She's just like Mr. Huggy over there. Uh, she's a Goril, and she's really awesome, and she's my favorite character. And I'm trying to open the package. It's like, aha, I figured it out. So smart. Here's Kissy Missy. Oh, my gosh, yes. Okay, here she is. Take her out of the plastic wrapping. There's Kissy Missy! So, uh, I actually thought when I first played the game that this was actually Huggy Wuggy's sister, but this is actually Huggy Wuggy's girlfriend, apparently, according to, like, playtime code manuals and stuff. So they are in a relationship, uh, and I guess, I don't know, I don't know if it's a nice relationship or not. Huggy died in the first chapter, so I don't know if they're gonna ever get to interact. Um, but maybe he'll come back. He kind of came back in chapter three with like the weird nightmare huggy wuggy dot exe creature. Um, but yeah, she's pink. She's just like huggy, but she's pink. She's got the same little Velcro hands. Uh, there's the playtime code tag. You can see it right there. Um, and she just looks awesome. I love the, again, this shape of the head, it looks just like her how she does in the game. I know that there is actually an older first version of both Kissy and Huggy. And while I do like them stylistically, I think they look more like the in-game character art. I like these because they look more like the in-game character model. And it seems like she also kind of has the issue with that front fluff being too long. I might also have to trim that down myself. Uh, kind of sucks. I wish Mob Games made this a little, that, that little front fluff a little shorter because it's, it's just a little too long and it makes her face, it makes it look like she's got a nose. <laughs> and I know she don't got a nose. So I'll do that myself. Mob Games, if I'm saying you change the splashy, make this little fluff just a bit shorter. It's just a bit too long. It's just a bit too long. Um, but yeah, she looks great. You can see her like little embroidered eyelash. Actually, they're not even embroidered. They're little pieces of individual felt. Got her little individual eyelashes and her eyes are plastic just like Huggies. So yeah, these are, these look great next to each other. I mean, these look, these look just like how they do in the game. So this one's kind of an oddball, but I figured I'd get it out of the way because it's very quick. And I know this isn't technically a pop playtime plush, but I just want to tease. This is a, a doll plushie, and you're probably like, why the heck did you get this doll? Like, what does it have to do with anything? This is actually the same doll that Sly Pie used for his Miss Delight custom. And I'm going to be doing uh, a very, very similar custom. Obviously, I'm going to be doing my own, making my own version of it. But uh, he directed me himself uh, which doll he used. And it's actually great because it seems like it scales very well with the other characters. It seems like she, she, this is perfect size for Miss Delight herself. And yeah, so I'm going to be making the same custom myself. So yeah, this is going to be Miss Delight at some point. So yeah. It's gonna be fun. Um, so yeah, this is the doll. Uh, if anyone else wants to make their own, this is the uh, playtime by uh, Emil or e Emmy, Emmy, e Emmy. I'm dyslexic. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, this is the this is the the playtime by Emmy doll, and yes, this is the this is the one that uh, he used for his, and I'm gonna use it for mine. So yeah, that's cool. Uh, not gonna put it in the background though, because this is a, this is not a playtime character yet, 
yet to be announced. Maybe I'll put, actually, I'll post, um, I'm going to post a lot of behind the scenes of me making stuff for the series on my shorts tab. So go watch my shorts if you want to see behind the scenes for the series. Uh, and I might compile in one video at some point, but that's where it's going to be uploaded first. All right, so if I believe if I'm correct that these uh, three packages are all bootleg plushies that I bought for the series, and these all are going to be uh, just, you know, these are all different characters that don't have official plushies yet. Oh, wait, actually, never mind. I lied. Those two bags are bootlegs. I remember who this guy is. This guy is another official plushie that I almost forgot I ordered. Uh, I got him, I think, off of Hot Topic because he was out of stock on the actual website. So I found him on Hot Topic and I copped him. I actually got a pretty good deal on him, too. Here is PJ Pugapillar. Oh, my God. Uh, there he is. Okay. <laughs> Let's open this guy up. Gotta move this packaging out of the way. Slipped rat or like a little slippery dog. There he is. Oh, my God. He's so soft. This guy's so soft. <laughs> There he is, all purple and blue and fluffy, and look at his face. Oh my gosh, he's he literally has like a pug face without like squished it. His, his big plastic eyes. His eyes are a lot more similar to Mommy Longlegs in terms of how they're designed, just with a different like image on the inside. They're like all black, where hers are green. Uh, and there's her, his big old tongue. Uh, there's his big old face. He looks so cute. I actually really like his this plush. Oh my god, he's so cute. Um... Yeah, honestly, if I would get one, if you're gonna get a Poppy Playtime plush to like cuddle with or like sleep with, I would recommend PJ. He's very, he's very, very soft. He's super long too. He looks awesome. He's got all his little puggy, little pugga pillar feet. <laughs> Again, I, I don't know if a lot of these guys are necessarily scary, but I think these guys are adorable. This guy's adorable. They make, they, you make some fun, funky designs, mob games. Good job. Uh, especially all, you know, all the character designers and the people that make the game. The devs, awesome. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. You make some cool stuff. I actually was kind of a Poppy Playtime hater for a while. Um, I didn't really like it very much, but Chapter 3 surprised me. Chapter 3 surprised me, and I think it got me to kind of look over the whole series as a whole and be like, you know what? This is pretty cool. You know, this, this is pretty cool. And I've got a lot of really cool ideas for the series, so hopefully that'll come out great. All right, now we're moving on to the couple bootlegs I got. And I actually do have some more bootlegs in the coming days uh, that aren't here yet. So hopefully uh, we can um, get those and I can stick them at the end of the video and they'll uh, arrive soon. So here is Bron the Brontosaurus. Oh my gosh, he's stuck in here. This is one of the... Uh, this is a bootleg plushie, but uh, they have not made an official Braun plushie because uh, he doesn't actually show up in the game yet. But yeah, so this is Braun. This is Braun the Brontosaurus. You can see he looks pretty cool. He looks pretty cool. But yeah, I copped this bootleg because it felt uh, more appropriate for uh, the videos because I wanted Braun. And this is, one, like I said, this is one of the many, many uh, toys in the factory that uh, were in the first chapter and just kind of like fluffed up the, the cast a bit uh, before we added all these guys. These are the, these are the guys in the corners. Uh, but yeah, so... Pretty cool. He's pretty cool. I like Braun. He's pretty neat. Uh, it looks cool. He sizes up pretty well the rest of them. Good plushie. Uh, for a bootleg, at least. Again, it's bootleg, but it looks good. And now, I don't actually know what this one is, because this one, I didn't think any more was supposed to arrive yet. Here is the next plushie, which, uh, oh, <laughs> this isn't a Bobby Playtime plush. <laughs> this is, <laughs> this is not for this. Oops. <laughs> Hi everyone, so uh, I did actually film uh, multiple other segments to this unboxing video as I received more plushies, but uh, unfortunately the audio got corrupted on them, so uh, I'm just going to kind of have to go over them briefly, so yeah, like I said, unfortunately that audio got corrupted, but either way, we're just going to kind of go over them briefly. Um, so these are all bootlegs, and some of which have been modified slightly to sort of help fit my videos better. Um, first off, we're starting with Cat B. Uh, this is, again, one of the little toys from Chapter 1. Pretty cool. It actually has wires in its antenna. So that's pretty neat. Um, and the wings were originally green for some reason, so I just kind of replaced them with blue ones. I might make these bigger. I don't know. They weren't really big on the plush, so maybe I'll have to see how it looks in-game normally. But yeah, there is Cat B. We have Boogie Bot, who's like a green robot. Uh, yeah, this plush is fine. The printing is really weird. For some reason, like, all the geometry is all messed up. I don't really know why it looks like that, but either way, it's not it's not an awful plush. It's, it's good for what I need it for, but yeah, there's Boogie Bot. Next up is Candy Cat, another one of the little characters from Chapter 1. Yeah, 
Isn't that crazy? I actually really like this one. I do like this one because it's very cute looking and I like the embroidery on it. The tongue is pretty neat. Cute little plushie. There's Candy Cat. And then we have uh, five of the eight smiling critters. Uh, I have them as plushies. Here is Catnap. The tail has wire in it, uh, so you can bend Catnap's tail. This plush is really cool. I really like this specific iteration of, of Catnap. I think this bootleg looks really good. And uh, the reason I got this instead of the official one was because I think the official one is just too big for what I need it for, and this just kind of scales best with with the, the, like what I would expect it to be. Um, and I'm trying to make sure they look good for videos, so this just felt like it made more sense. Uh, unfortunately, they don't make um, uh, Picky Piggy, Crafty Corner, Bubba Bubba Fin in this variety, so I'm probably going to have to make them myself just in this similar style, but it shouldn't be too hard, and hopefully they'll look pretty good. Um, so yeah, there is Catnap, Hoppy Hopscotch. All of these originally had uh, way worse of the charms, like the charms looked really bad on them, but uh, I ended up replacing them myself with my own little little felt, so hopefully they look a bit better now. But yeah, here's Hoppy Hopscotch. Again, she looks really cute. I'm pretty sure Hoppy Hopscotch is a girl. I don't know. <laughs> All I know is you're. I, I think the only ones that I'm like not sure of is Bobby and Hoppy, but I think Bobby's a boy and Hoppy's a girl, to my knowledge. Uh, next up is Kickin' Chicken. This one's pretty cool. I like how fluffy this one is because it makes it look more like a. Oh god, <laughs> no. It makes it look more like he's got feathers. I think it's really cool, especially like the feather feather arms. This guy's really neat. I like him. He's cool. So there's Kickin' Chicken. And then we have Bobby Bear Hug. This one's also pretty cool. Very soft. I love the face on these. They're like, they're very similar to the toys in game. Big open mouths and such. Very cool. And lastly, we have Dog Day. Uh, this Dog Day looks a little funny. Uh, I think it ended up being a little... I don't really know what happened to it, but... I uh, tried adjusting their proportions a bit, which, uh, I mean, they show up mostly fine on camera, so that's really what matters, but, yeah. This plush is alright. It definitely is worse than the other four, but hopefully it's not terrible, or at least good enough for videos. But yeah, that is essentially every Poppy Playtime plushie I got in this video. Uh, stay tuned tomorrow for the series. Uh, this actually was really supposed to go up on Wednesday, but I ended up running out of time, and I had to film the series instead. <laughs> of edit this video so you know uh i wanted to be sure i had stuff on time so but yeah this uh this is gonna be up on friday so tomorrow the 25th is when the series is going up so go ahead check it out i'm really excited for it and i think you all are really gonna enjoy it especially once uh more episodes come out in the future um i have a lot of character arcs and cool stuff i want to do so hopefully you all enjoy that um i will see you all tomorrow bye